Starting with version 14, Oxygen improved the already existing support for the Mark Logic server. The improvements include, among others, remote debugging and XQuery editing, XQuery validation, and a new XQuery builder designed specifically for improved productivity. We'll use the place of William Shakespeare as a test framework. This sample application is available online on the Mark Logic community website. After following the installation procedure that comes with the place of William Shakespeare application, you will already have a configured HTTP app server needed for running the application. We have already configured an XDBC app server with an identical configuration. Oxygen will use this server to interact with the MarkLogic database. As you can see, each link invokes an XQuery module, in this case, the display scene XQI module. And here is the result after its execution. We have already set up a connection to the MarkLogic server. The Data Source Explorer view displays all the configured application servers. We are interested in the HTTP server that runs the sample application, the one named Bill. Under the Modules container, we find all XQuery modules that the application uses. We'll open the Display Scene XQI module. If we focus on the Outline view, we can see that it displays components collected from the module hierarchy. We'll use the Outline Views filter option to look for the title function. Double-click the result to open the Display Library module. We'll change the title from By William Shakespeare to Author William Shakespeare. We save the modifications and return in browser to reload the page. Note the updated text. We did just a small change, but nevertheless, it is a good practice to validate the module you are currently working on. This module is a library, and it can only be validated in the context of the main module that imports it. The error message Oxygen displays tells us just that. To address this issue, Oxygen uses the validation scenario. We'll add a new validation unit, setting display scene SQI main module as the URL of the file to validate. We'll apply the scenario we just created and see that after we make the changes, the document is valid. Using remote debugging in Oxygen, you can intercept XQuery requests started from an external XQuery application. You can choose to pause them so you can start debugging queries in the exact context of the application. We'll demonstrate the remote debugging support starting from several use cases. For our first scenario, we'll search for a phrase in the sample application. We notice that the request takes too long to complete, so we suspect that something went wrong with the query. We'll go back to Oxygen, look for the server that executes the request. In our case, the Bill HTTP server. Open the request container and we can see our search request being executed. We invoke the debug action from the contextual menu and Oxygen now switches to the debugger perspective. Here we can see that Oxygen highlighted the currently executed instruction. It appears that we forgot to remove several sleep instructions and this is the reason why the search operation took so long to execute. Now we stop the debugger to be able to remove the sleep instructions. Go back to the browser and try to search again. This time, the results are presented promptly. Most instructions are executed almost instantly, so you simply do not have enough time to intercept them for debugging. What you can do in this case is to set the application server in debugging mode. The first indication that the server is now in debug mode is this little decorator painted over the server icon. In this mode, 
All requests received by the server are posed, allowing step-by-step -step interaction. Now let's return to the browser and click one of the links. We see that the browser waits for the server response. In Oxygen, we refresh the request container and we can see our pending request. Let's choose Debug and see that the editor area highlights the instruction schedule for execution. Now we can either control the execution using step actions or we could add a breakpoint. We want to add a breakpoint in display library module. Let's set the breakpoint on this line. Now we we'll restart the execution until it reaches the breakpoint. Because we are debugging the context of the XQuery application, we have access to context variables otherwise unavailable. Let's use the XWatch view to see the HTTP parameters that the query received. We see that there are two parameters, fname and act. All queries entered into the XWatch view are evaluated in the context of the debugged request. So we have access to variables and functions, like using a function title with the X context variable. Other views worth mentioning are the variables view that display the variables initialized in the current context, as well as the stack view where we can see the instructions stack trace. Another interesting use case is the use of collaborative debugging concept in which multiple users of Oxygen can participate in the same debugging session. We have an active debugging session and, in order to introduce another participant, we'll use an Oxygen Eclipse plugin instance. Just as before, we reach to the request container and we intercept the debugging session. As the new actor, we perform several step actions, continuing the execution. Returning to the first Oxygen instance, we need to synchronize it with the debugged session. Click this button to refresh the state of the debugger. The last feature presented in this demonstration is the XQuery Builder. It was developed as a sandbox tool to aid you in building, reusing and testing XQuery snippets. Using the Content Completion Assistant and XQuery Syntax Highlight Coloring, you can quickly build queries which are logged into a history stack after their execution. You can also save queries as favorites for later reuse. For additional information about this topic and more video demonstrations, make sure you visit the Oxygen XML video tutorials page. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.